Charles 20 here and welcome back to Springwood. Today's episode, well, we're staying in the same area as the amphitheater that we built in the previous episode. Um, and we're going to be working on some of the wealthiest residents of Springwood. Very much inspired by Beverly Hills region and Hollywood region of LA. We're going to be working on a place called Springwood Hills. And Springwood Hills is going to be an area of great wealth. Maybe even some movie stars and some um, some serious businessmen. Like we're talking super, super, super rich. We're going to build some custom mansions midway through the episode. But I'm going to kick things off just by placing down some smaller houses that are just going to be scattered around this hillside. These houses, majority of them are actually vanilla assets and what I've done is I've just plopped them all down. I've just used find it to find the, the best suited buildings, plopped them down in just one area and then I'm using building eye drop tool. I mean, I've spoken about this before, but using building eye drop tool just to hit T, basically copy and paste them down wherever I want. Um, that is by far the quickest and most effective way of plopping down neighborhoods these days. I never ever wait for anything just to grow. It just takes forever and it is always in the wrong place. This way, I, I'm literally just placing down what I want. None of them grow, none of them whinge about demands. Uh, it's basically how I've always wanted the game to operate. The kind of houses I'm plopping down at the moment are mostly just villas and there's nothing, I mean, they're all, they're all pretty nice, I guess but I wouldn't call them mansions. Maybe some of them are larger than others, but what I can see from LA, and just looking at some pictures here, the houses that sit around this area are, some of them aren't actually too crash hot, but they seem just to be in this super nice area and really strangely porched on these, not porched, perched on these, on this mountainside. So I'm trying to go for a bit of that. And I've got this windy road that kind of creeps up, really following a lot of the layouts that, um, you know, the Hollywood Hills um, have. And trying to go for like quite skinny roads. I'm really thinking of GTA when I'm building this because I've, I've been to LA once and I really didn't take advantage of the fact that I was in LA. I just uh, spent my time probably not very wisely um, rather than doing things that I definitely would do now. So... I'm just really using GTA as a bit of a reference and um, yeah, I mean, I think it works pretty well. Now it is pretty tricky plopping down houses like this on such a huge slope. I kind of was using the trees to cover up a little gap, a couple of gaps that would come up when plopping down a house every now and again. But generally just shuffling around using Mover, I can push houses closer to the road or you know, closer to another house and manipulate the environment just a little bit. Like it works, I think it, wor it worked out pretty well. And um, now that I've got the formula of how to build a place like this, I think I can do it pretty easily after that. Moving on and we're starting build, starting, starting work on probably my favorite mansion that I built in this build. And um, I've made this mansion using a couple of different well, basically the same vanilla building and then like three times and then just this other one that I thought had a similar style. I guess they all have similar styles, but some of them are more similar than others. Um, this one in particular wanted to, well, I chose because it has these huge windows and I wanted those windows to be, um, you know, out towards the skyline of Springwood. I like... It looks sick when it's all finished because uh, these houses have got such a great view of the skyline and yeah, I mean, that's like just the best, the best spot for them. So I was trying to place the windows in a particular place that gave the residents the best viewpoints of Springwood. What I'm doing is I'm just plopping down these buildings and then also playing with a couple of different ideas. I mean, this is my first mansion that I built so I was really trying to figure out how I was going to achieve this look that I had in my mind and um, I'm also using Google Maps just as a bit of a reference looking at these mansions that do sit around these hills 
and I didn't actually realize how big some of these places are. Uh, I actually lost a lot of time building because when I started looking at these pictures, this this map, I was really lost with just the sheer size and was wondering who the hell lives in a place like this. So, you know, like I kind of lost a little bit of time just going, you know, Googling, you know, who lives at this address and, um, you know, what movie stars live up here because I just, I, I couldn't actually believe that people actually live. I, I can't believe that people actually live like that. It's ridiculous. Um, but also so super jealous <laughs> to live in a house like this. Um, I think I got lost in Will Smith's house because it's just, I mean, I don't think it's even in LA, but it's just a, it's just a freaking castle. So I wanted to create that. I want to create freaking castles. And, um, you know, I think this one's probably the biggest one I make, but they all kind of range in size. Um, you know, as I kind of progress and I think this is probably one of my favorite builds that I've done in, in um, City Skylines. I just had so much fun once I achieved the look. I was like, this is excellent. This is exactly what I want to be um, building at the moment. And um, I mean, I did get pretty over it towards the end because I do build quite a lot. But yeah, I mean, I just, it was just an awesome build. It took me a little while to find the right assets to use so at the moment I'm plopping down a uh, fence and this was the best fence I found it fits really well it um, works and moves with the um, ground which is really useful uh, so I use it pretty much for every single mansion it's um but I mean there's not many there's not many like park fences or you know the, most fences are, like wooden and kind of small whereas the fences around mansions are actually really quite big and um, yeah, are really private. So I wanted to try and make these places quite private um, and quite different to the ones that I was plopping down before, the little villas that sit on the mountainside. They're not really private at all. I mean, they're really squished together and really close. Whereas these mansions are quite different. They just have their own block of lands and, um, you know, take up huge amounts of space and have not just shoot great views, but also really great grounds, you know, an actual um, house, a, a, a backyard, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Um, a formula that I was using to create these places was always making a huge car park, not a huge car park, a car space, um, always pretty much having a pool that just sits down there and views um, and some sort of garden. A little bit later down the track in the video, I will talk about putting some characters, people who live in the city, in these mansions. Um, if you want to stick yourself in one of these mansions or a friend or a bit of an ode to an asset creator or a modder, I know I've got a couple in mind. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely leave a comment below, but we'll get into that a little bit later. In the time being, enjoy these cinematics of the view and we'll get back to the build very shortly.
back to what I'm doing now. And what I'm doing is I'm just playing with another building to basically make into another custom mansion. The one just before, it wasn't really custom, I guess. It was just a standard building that I just made a really pretty backyard for. Um, but this one in particular is like, I think it's what, three of those kind of oddly modern um, villas there. And just, I kind of, again, plopped in another one just as a front door. That kind of had a very similar shape. Again, very similar style. I thought that was a pretty useful one to put down there. Um, these ones that I'm starting to play with, I'm, I'm just trying to find the right color. I mean, they sometimes change color when you pop them down, plop them around all over the place just to get the all the consistent colors. And um, what I'm doing, as you can see, I'm just trying to find buildings that I think would work really well as a custom building and just copying and pasting and then just um, splicing them together and yeah I mean like I've talked about it before but when I figure out a technique I just use it for everything and when I do make these videos I don't include a lot of the stuff that I do so you can see quite a lot of neighborhood that I've built there and I just haven't included it it's very repetitive and you get the idea um, and something that Strictoaster was talking about, which kind of like uh, pricked my ears up because it's something that I've currently started doing. Um, and that is not detailing every single inch of my city. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of like a, I don't know, it just, it made a lot of sense to me when I figured it out that I didn't actually have to go to as much detail as I usually do in every part of my city. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of detail in this place, but in terms of props and huge amounts of detail, I just don't need it. Um, so basically, the huge amount of detail that I go into is when I record an episode, um, but then if you ever see a little part of Springwood that you're like, oh, well, I've never actually seen you build that area, well, it's just an area, and I've just plopped it down, and um, yeah, it's not as detailed as everything else. Um, and I think that's going to be just one of the many techniques that I use to encourage myself to actually finish the, finish this series because otherwise I think I'll just be doing this until um, until I'm an old man and um, yeah I don't really want to do that like I said before I've been I'm using the same technique for basically all these different mansions and something that I do when I build is um, I'll plop down something that I'm currently working on. So just say I'm, you know, plopping down buildings. I'll just plop down all the buildings and then I'll start building the fence. So then I'll just plop down all the fences and then I start doing the driveway. So I start doing all the driveways. I just, I keep it consistent. That way it just saves going back and picking up tools again. Um, like I see the benefit in just detailing one house at a time, but for me, I like to kind of paint everything over with the same sort of concept and the same tools. You know, use the same tool more than, you know, in a, in a, in a block, in a, in a whole area, and then, you know, kind of model everything that way. I find it saves time and it kind of keeps a bit more consistency. Something that I spoke about last episode, um, I've reconnected with Instagram because I was, um, pretty active on there a couple of months ago and then I just dropped off and focused on Twitter. These days I'm on both. So yeah, I mean, if you haven't checked me out on Instagram already, definitely go and do that. I'm keeping a pretty regular blog about Springwood where I'm just posting a picture pretty much every single day um, in a really high detailed, um, focused sort of a way so that you kind of get a bit of an idea of the entire city, not just what I'm building and during the week and also Twitter I'm pretty active on there too so yeah I mean definitely another place you can check me out I'm usually asking questions or posting pictures or teasers and all that stuff so I mean if you want more information more stuff of what I'm doing go and follow me over there actually about Twitter I only just posted something about this build and what I had done is I basically built this entire neighborhood based on the villas that I built in the very first half of the episode. I made this en entire neighborhood sprawling and huge and filled up pretty much the entire 
pretty much the entire wealthy class that lives on these hills. And I was really happy with it. It put quite a bit of effort into it. I reckon about three, four hours worth of work and just stupidly hit quit without even saving it and just lost all of that work. Um, thankfully, all the work that I'm doing right now that you're seeing me build in this episode and more I is all saved. It's the extra stuff that I thought, yeah, you know what? I'm on a roll. I can get this done. Let's do it. I just, I lost it all. <laughs> like, as soon as I hit, you know, quit to desktop, I just knew it. As soon as I clicked the mouse, I knew it. I, yeah, it just killed me. And um, yeah, it just made me not want to build any more mansions just for probably a month and a bit because I'm just too discouraged. Um, thankfully, all this is still intact and... Um, yeah, I'll be back building mansions before you know it. finish off this time lapse I'm going to be working in high detail on this one particular mansion that sits in this little nook this little ridge of the hills and um, I'm basing this one off one that's actually in LA uh, not directly based on it but I'm taking like little bits of elements from it and putting it into this build mostly I just like that it sits between like in this little ridge and also has this huge driveway that seems to be pretty much just for this one house and snakes are all around and um, you know goes in between these other houses I kind of like that so I, I wanted to get a bit of a that feel also wanted to include a big turning circle where people, all these you know, nice cars sit and a fountain in the middle you know when I started building this I realized I probably should have left a bit more space to really get it down and that's why I say that I'm. this is definitely not going to be the last mansions I build in Springwood. Definitely want to even get grander, bigger. I mean, this is an, or the only neighborhood that's going to sit up in these hills that are going to be, um, you know, home to these big mansions that are really based on Beverly Hills. I'm actually going to be doing quite a lot of different ones. So, and like, tell me if I'm getting the terminology wrong. Like, I'm saying Beverly Hills, I'm probably just referring to one one, one neighborhood there's probably like a trillion over there um yeah i mean please correct me if i'm wrong in the comments I'm, i always like being corrected in the comments i don't feel like you're being rude if you live there i'm actually totally intrigued i spend ages checking out cities particularly la find that place pretty pretty interesting uh, what i'm doing is i'm just trying to cover up some of the vanilla assets uh sorry vanilla assets props i could use mods oh, there are plenty of really good mods that just get rid of all the vanilla assets props <laughs> but i just choose not to I'm, I, I'm pretty selective with my mods though i am rocking quite a lot i am pretty selective i don't want to just download to a whole bunch of them um only really download the ones that um, i'm definitely going to use and i definitely see a purpose for we're almost done with this episode and uh, like I said, I had a lot of fun building it, I had a lot of fun building these mansions, just putting a bit of detail and effort into some of the more characteristic elements of the city. Um, yeah, I mean, I just I had a ball doing it. Um, that brings me to my, my topic of if you've got an idea for somebody to live in one of these mansions, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, like, I want to start putting in some people who live in Springwood. Um, and we've done similar things with religious groups and neighborhoods with Springwood. So you guys have given out names and characteristics of different places. So just like that, I'm going to, um, yeah, put it to you guys. Who should live in the mansions up on this hill? Now, this won't be the only 
set of mansions that I build in Springwood. So they might not even be the biggest ones. Like I would really love to put some really huge ones out, maybe even out in the desert or uh, even even in like some smaller grottier neighborhoods to stick one giant mansion somewhere and just give that a bit of an idea. I don't know, like just, just thinking out loud. Um, that's basically 25 minutes of me thinking out loud. It's, but for this area, I want you to have a real good think. I mean, do you want to put a character in Springwoods? Like you want to put it to one of the cult leaders of the Symology religion group around here? Or do, do you want one of the residents to be Mayor twenty? I mean, if you want to stick me up in one of these mansions, I'm, I won't oppose. Um, if you want to put yourself in there, I mean, if there's a lot of people who come back every week to Springwoods and tune in every week. So, I mean, if you want to put yourself up there, I definitely will recognize a name. So yeah, in the comments below, let me know who you think belongs in these mansions. There's one, two, three. I mean, there's a whole bunch of numbers up here. Choose one, let me know in the comments. And if you don't comment, hit like on maybe your favorite one or your favorite couple of ones. And yeah, I'll, I'll choose some. And in the next episodes, we will move those lovely characters in but that's it guys thanks for tuning in always much appreciated i'll leave you with some extra long cinematics because it is a super pretty area have a good week and i'll catch you guys again in the next episode mm -hmm.